Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper, coming to you from the backstage of the Garbage Man Piper studio, my garage. My pipe today is a Sienna Savinelli 626. And in it, I'm smoking some Peter Stokeby's Luxury Twist Flake. This was actually stoved and it came in a package. It's been sitting back here, um, vacuum packed for oosh, months and months. I don't even remember my apologies who sent it to me. So uh, if that was you, just give me a, give me a shout out down in the garbage can because I, it wasn't written on it anywhere. So anyways, I need to smoke it up. That's what I'm doing. All right, so here's what we got. We got some shout outs we need to do. I got uh, a little conversation about YouTube, not what you're thinking. And I have got some yabos. Gay and I were um, up in Colorado with family, which is why I was kind of MIA during the holidays. So uh, I picked up, I hit a couple tobacco shops, one in Colorado and one in uh, Albuquerque, so Colorado Springs. So let's get to it. All right. Pipe Goblin. Thanks for the sub. Maritime Piper John, welcome back. Thanks for the sub. Naptown Pipes. Thanks for the sub. Patriot Uprising, thanks for the sub. All right, YouTube. Usually I've got three or four or five <clears throat> shout outs times that, uh, 10 usually or so. Um, I don't know what's going on. My, my subscription count is, is going up. But I'm not being notified through YouTube that I'm getting subscribers, and yet the number keeps going up. I was getting emails saying, hey, you know what, this person, this channel subscribed to me, and then it wouldn't be in YouTube, and now I'm not even getting those emails, but the number keeps going up. So, y'all, if you're expecting me to shout you out, if I don't shout you out, I was never notified who subbed me. So, dude, I love shouting people out. If you all, if your channel has subbed me, let me know if I don't shout you out. There's no other way I'm going to know unless there's something going on that I need to be doing. But <clears throat> just saying, if you're not shouted out, hit me up in the comments. I like interacting with those. Um, if you did not hear me shout you out, please do that. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, so I got, that gets us into the yabos. I got me a yabo from Dan down in deep south Texas. Dan, thanks brother. You really didn't need to do anything more. Uh, totally appreciate the bro note. Very nice. Um, I will definitely take a gander through my pipes. See what's in there. And then uh, he hit me up with a tin of Firestorm that has two years of age on it. Kudo, my brother. We'll put that right up there so it stares at me. Smoke me, smoke me. All right. So Dan, thanks, bro. If you have not, if you all have not subbed, Dan Deep South Texas, do that. Nice guy. He's just getting back in the groove. He built a house, moved into a house, and then life happens, and uh, he's he's been a little bit better at putting uh, videos up. And so, hit him up. 
All right, there's one. Here's two. <clears throat> I ordered this about a month ago from Mass Drop, is now Drop. Um, it was a knife, very affordable, but I've always wanted uh, this style of blade, and I thought this would be a good entry level try. This blade's a CJRB. CJRB is the current affordable knife from Artisan Cutlery. And if you know who Artisan Cutlery is, that's some good knife making right there. So CJRB, again, is their, uh, that, that's a heck of a blade, is their affordable line. It's D2 steel. This is a workhorse. Good tool, good weekend knife to have. Um, so cool. I'm going to have fun with that. Put that down here. Get rid of some garbage. Oh, some of you may have seen Mike at Briar Blues picked up a Pelican laptop case. Um, Mike and I were in the West Coast Pipe Show with Andrew Serigliano, <coughs> and Mike, seeing Mike reminded me I wanted to grab one. So I did that. This is a beefy tostada. This, uh, this bad boy is solid. And all you do is, as you saw in Mike's, they're just little foam squares, and you just take the ones out of the shapes you want, and you can see you get quite a few pipes in there. I mean, if you end up going out of town, I think Mike had two or three pipes in his, but he also had a, a tin that would fit in tobacco uh, and a pipe lighter. I'm going to play with that and uh, see how that works for me. So, too cool. Shout out to Andrew Sorigliano and Mike with Briar Blues for the idea and Mike for reminding me. Thumbs up. Excited about working on that. And then... A couple of the uh, tobacco shops that I went to. Um, I usually break myself when I go into these places. And I'm just at a point where I, I know what kind of pipe I want to smoke. Um, and pretty much the tobacco. Um, I've already cellared the tobaccos that I like. If I find a new one, then I'll sell it and I'll be done with it. But this was one I had never tried before. VIP Pipe Tobacco. It is. Looks like a vapor. Virginia. From uh, Virginia Perique. So it's a vapor and I thought... I'm always into uh, choo-choo on a vapor. So I picked up that just to try. And then Aaron Moore Flake. Um, this was a little bit too fruity for me. I didn't really care for it. That was about a year ago. Um, I found this tin that looks like it has a, a little bit of age on it, maybe a year plus, and I thought, Maybe I'll just crack that open. I may have one or two of these in the cellar, but thought, hey, I will give that a shot. That was Stag Tobacco in uh, Albuquerque. They're always willing to work with somebody via phone call, ship. Um, they've been really good to me. That's an Albuquerque. Stag tobacconist in Albuquerque. This bag is from the Stag tobacconist 
in Colorado Springs. So Gay and I, over the holidays, were with her parents and family in Pueblo. So I drove up for the morning just to check something stuff out. Like I told you, if I'm gonna be around Marlin Flake, I'm usually gonna always grab a tin. So there's a tin of Marlin Flake. I just sent off two of these to Mark at TPI, um, Tobacco Pipes. And so that's replacing what I sent him. I had never tried this. Best Brown Flake number two. They had several of those. I just grabbed one. I have tried this before. I wasn't really into Orientals. I think this is also a heavier lot of Kia. I thought, ah, oh, you know, I'll give it another shot. I pretty much cleared everything I had in the cellar having to do with that. For Virginia Flake, I opted for McBaron's Pure Flake over this. Um, but thought, let me give it another try. It's been a while. I don't even have any of that. I don't believe in my cellar. So that's the only reason why I picked it up. And I picked it up two. One for the cellar, one to grab and smoke. And... Guys, I think that is it. I'm going to be leaving town again Wednesday. Going back up to Colorado, uh, to uh, Colorado Springs. So I've got a business meeting at the Broadmoor. That'll chew up pretty much of the week. And then back in the saddle in the office on the 9th. So I might be MIA during this next week just because of all the movement and what, what not going on. You know, I think that's all I got. The desk is a mess. You got, I'm embarrassed to even show you, but it is like a bomb went off here. I just have not spent the time that I've needed in the, uh, in the backstage. I got tobacco everywhere. I got stuff I got to date and sell her and move and, it is more fun than we should be allowed to have. Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper saying, Sweet chicken, baby. Hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving. Y'all be safe out there.